Hello and welcome to the genetics lab video how to patch your colonies. Today I'm going to show you how to patch your colonies to test their phenotypes. Um, <clears throat> you need to do this in two of your labs right now, in the strep lab and in the operon fusion lab. Uh, the procedure is exactly the same, just the number of plates you're going to patch your colony onto is different. Um, for both of your labs you have these grid patterns in your uh, lab manual which you can use as a guide for where to patch. So we'll go ahead and do uh, the procedure for your strep plates uh, but the procedure for your operon fusion plates is exactly the same and frankly it would be if you were testing something else as well. Um, so let's say that you have done an experiment like this person right here. Let's move this so you can see it. And you have a few mutants. And so this person put three mils of cells and found a few mutants. That's pretty normal, okay, on this plate because it's a very low frequency mutation. This is the strep plate. You can tell from the two purple stripes and we want to know if these cells can grow uh, only in the presence of streptomycin, if they can grow both in the presence and absence of streptomycin, or <clears throat> if they grow better in the presence of streptomycin than in the absence of streptomycin. In the operon fusion experiment, you'd want to know if the cells grow uh, and produce red colonies or white colonies on LACMAC or ARAMAC or LARA, uh, LAC plus ARAMAC. But whatever it is, you can check the phenotype on different plates, and here's how you do it. You're going to need whatever plates that you uh, want to test that have the different conditions. And so what we need is a TBAB plate and a TBAB plus streptomycin. One purple here is TBAB, two is streptomycin. But again, whatever it is that you want to test is fine. Make sure you label them because remember the way we've identified these is on the lid. Once you take the lid off you can't tell what's what. So we're going to go ahead and label these. Remember to include your name, the date, and the condition. This one is TBAB. And this one is TBAB plus, in this case, it's 500 micrograms per mil strep. If your concentration is different or if you're looking at something else, you should label it whatever it is. Make sure you label around the perimeter, okay? Uh, don't label in the middle or else you won't be able to see what you're trying to identify. <clears throat> now, on the grid, I've put these arrows so that you'll be able to align this with the grid and then you'll be able to come back to it a day or so later when you're trying to figure out what's what and know where you put everything on the plates. So on the plate, put a line right here and then another one exactly 90 degrees, okay? Now remember though that this is gonna be flipped this way, upside down, so do it on this side. and you'll see they line up with those arrows. And they line up with these arrows. Now you'll notice that this, if you can read it, says TBAB, and this says TBAB plus streptomycin. The order actually matters. We're gonna wanna put this uh, the new condition first, we're going to want to patch onto the new condition first and then patch onto the uh, uh, same condition we're patching from because our colonies grew on TBAB plus streptomycin. We already know they can grow on this, so we want to put that on there last as a control. Okay, that way if nothing grows, we know there was a problem in the patching, right? If nothing grows here and something grows there, we know it's real. If nothing grows on this one, but something grew on that one, we know it was a problem with the patching. So that's a control, okay? Always do the new thing first, and then the old thing last, 
okay? And so here's how we're going to do it. What we're going to do is we're going to take a toothpick, touch a colony, and if you look through the plates, what you will see is, let's see if I can zoom in. I don't think I can. Um, ah, I can. All right. Very good. Okay, sort of very good. And so what you'll see is uh, I've given you a grid underneath it. And the grid goes from 1 to 20. So you're going to be able to patch up to 20 colonies on here. And so each one of these squares is a place for you to take your toothpick, touch a colony. And so if you don't have 20, you're not going to be able to do 20. You don't have to do one of them 20 times. But you're going to touch a colony and you're going to draw a line. Don't just put a dot because you want to see how well it grows. You're going to draw a line filling one of these squares and if you touch a colony, you're going to put it in the same box on both plates because you want to be able to find it again. You know that it grew, how well it grew on each plate, so it'll be in the same place. So, for example, we're going to take this, this colony right here. It's a little hard to see, but there's one right there. So we'll start with that one, okay? So we have these sterile toothpicks. You can tell by the tape that has the black lines on them. We'll use the end that's down at the bottom that we haven't touched. And we're just going to touch a colony. Just touch. You don't have to gouge it. You don't have to smash it or anything. Just touch it. Okay? And then open the lid. And then we're just going to draw a little line. A line. And a line in the same place. And then you go back and you go to the next colony and you draw a line in number two and the next colony and the line in number three and so on and so on. If you only have two colonies, instead of using the grid, you could just draw a line and have number one, number two. If you have four, you could draw a square and have one, two, three, four. But if you have more than two or three or four, the grid is very helpful for keeping track of them. Then, the next day when you want to analyze them, you take your grid out, remember this is in your lab manual, you align the lines and then you can see the numbers through your plates and you can compare one to one and two to two because that's the same colony originally and you make a graph comparing did it grow on both equally, did it grow better on one than the other, better would be a nice thicker line, if it's a thin line it didn't grow as well, okay, and you'll have that information. When you're done, always keep the selective plate because that's the one you're going to want to do PCR on in the strep lab. Okay? All right. That's it. Very easy. Good luck in your experiment and have fun.